<laughs> Good dog. <laughs> Hello everyone, and welcome to the Wasteland. My name's Tech Corsa, and we're playing Fallout 4. So I was exploring around the outskirts of Sanctuary, and I saw this radio dish in the distance, and I've worked my way over this way. Now let's see... My guess Get is Raiders. Oh. Yeah, Raiders. Hey, did you just jump out of the window? Hey! Seriously? Thank you. Alright, now I saw that dog. We also hear something pretty nasty. Oh god, boat flies. Oh. Well, I didn't have to shoot it, thankfully. Man. What was that? Oh, that was my core. Or fusion core. Okay, anyways. How do I get into the station? I assume that there's a way through there. I'm sure nothing's behind me. Alright, here we go. hooked up to. Alright. That answered that question. It's alright, dog. Let's see. I'm gonna mark the terminal. That's it. Oh, you've gotta be kidding me. <laughs> oh my god. Um in the room. Okay. I don't care. Did that open the door? Yes, it did. It didn't open this door. This door was already open. <laughs> oh, blue torch. Huh? Over here! Find him and kill him! I really hate the fact that I have to kill dogs in this game. Okay. I'm gonna go in the room that I unlocked. Mini nuke! Oh! <laughs> go. Yes. Yes, more fusion cells. I'm starting to actually run low on those. And by low, I mean I had like 150 left. Hmm. I guess there really wasn't anything that interesting here. It kind of stinks. There's a fusion core in here. Oh, how I love it when I'm right. There's 
not really that. There's not really that many bandits and or raiders rather in here. Hearing shit. What? Is there somebody else in here? Oh. Get a fucking pay for that. All right, come on. Oh shit! I didn't know they could pick up weapons after they'd fallen. Okay, that's why I don't use bats. My god, they all went after that stupid minigun. Give me that. Jesus. I bet this is a quest item, that's why it popped up like that. Okay. Hmm. Sweet. Oh, earlier when I was exploring. Oh, come on. Okay, so the Super Sledge is not effective against little roaches. I thought it might be, but... I'd already opened the intel room, so... Oh, but anyways, I never get to finish about the site. Ended up. What the hell? Oh, I guess that's the. Man, that scared me there for a second. Um, but anyways, so I found this when I had accidentally stumbled upon a super mutant camp. <laughs> You're awesome, teddy bear. You stay awesome. You're not awesome. I will take you. Hey, dog. You want a teddy bear? <laughs> Good dog. Hang on, that's a vertebird. That's a vertebird. I'm gonna go check that out. Ooh. Nah. And I know I've said this before, but where there's vertebirds, there's normally good stuff. Like power armor. Partial suit of T fifty one. Um, crap. So, um, I'm gonna get this home and I'm gonna be right back. All right, so 
I made it back. I took the other frame home, and I moved the T-51 armor pieces onto this frame. Okay, so I cleared out... Also, while I was at it, I cleared out most of what was left over there. And I saw this building over this way, so we're gonna investigate that. Come on, dog, let's go. What'd you find? Robotics disposal ground, that sounds good. What's in here? Oh, stem pack. Thank you, dog. What is this? Hot rodder. Excellent. Permanently unlock a new custom paint job for your power armor. Nice. Play tape. Okay. Hmm. I do have good power armor this time. I might be able to take it if it goes rogue. <laughs> Let's do this. Yes. Wait, actually, give me that tape. Okay, so it looks like it's not going to attack me. Hmm, I wonder if there's anything else on that tape. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's do that. Yes, I want to continue. Get it, dog. Or not, I'll get it. Ooh, right. Yeah. Two fusion cores. And other goodies. Man, I wonder what else is laying around here. Another mini nuke! <laughs> so that's two mini nukes for my fat man. Alright, well, that was interesting. I'm gonna keep exploring around the area. If I find anything else, I'll let you guys know. Alright, so I was looking through my quest log and I discovered that I hadn't turned in the Ten Pines Bluff quest yet. So, let me find that guy and we'll turn it in. Let him know that he's safe from the raiders that are down in Lexington. Here he is.
Hey, don't go to sleep yet. Hey, wake up. You find those raiders? I kick their asses. Yeah, I kick their asses for you. No kidding? That's the best piece of news we've had around here for a good long time. So we've been talking. We decided if you came through for us, we'd join up with the Minutemen again. If we want things to get better, we've got to start helping each other. So, we're in. You can count on us if you need help down the line. Thanks again, friend. Oh, yeah. Um... So I am in control of this settlement now? Oh, joy. Um... Yep, I'm in control of the settlement now. Well, okay. I'll have to spend some time fortifying it then, because... Quite frankly, they're in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm gonna take a look around here, see if, you know, how the settlement's set up, if there's anything nearby that I'll have to worry about, you know, attacking them, and I'll cut back if there's anything interesting. Okay, so the only thing I found of interest was there's a suit of power armor here, locked behind an advanced terminal that was in this car. And for reference, Tin Pines Bluff is right up there. That's the bridge that's right outside of town, and this is the train tracks that run beside town. If I find anything else, I'll make sure to let you know. Okay, so... Tim Pine Bluffs is right over behind me, and we'll show you on the map. But there's a downed airplane right there, and there's also what looks like a post-war settlement that's up here. Um, I see a couple of people up there, and I also saw a turret and spotlight in the front. I'm gonna go tackle that airplane, see if there's anything down there. And then I'll go up and see if these guys are friendly, or if they're raiders. Or something in between. Who knows. Okay, it doesn't look like there's anything here. I'll explore it on my own time, then. Alright, so I'm going to head back up to where those windmills are. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. How did I fall through that? <laughs> okay, let's try this again without falling through. Not friendly. Not friendly. Got laser weapons. Oh, and the Molotov cocktails, really? Where are you at? gonna throw it at me when it's right on top of you, are you? Take your sunglasses, too. can't get out there. Not easily, at least. Alright. What did you have? Made you think you were so special. Ooh, 308 rounds. I'll take that. And sniper rifle. Meh. I'm more excited about the ammo than I am the rifle. <laughs> there we go. 
There we go. Nice. Let's see. Let's go up or down. Looks like this one goes up. Okay, it doesn't seem like there's anything else left here. Charging laser sniper rifle. Hmm. I've already got a laser sniper rifle. Else well, that would have been a really good find. Oh right, that turret's still alive. Oh, I can't shoot it from here. I'll get it on my way out. Did Dog manage to fall through? I don't even know. Alright. I thought that was going to be a lot more interesting than what it was. Well, same as before, if I find anything else, I'll let you guys know. Okay, so I made my way back to Sanctuary so I can talk to Preston about me saving Ten Pines Bluff. Preston! No! Preston! Hey, come back here. I was trying to talk to you, man. Hey. You know that settlement you sent me to help? They've decided to join the Minutemen. That's great news. I knew you were the right person for the job. By the way, you should have one of these flare guns. You can use it to signal for help from any nearby Minutemen. Not much use yet, but once we have more allied settlements, you'll have help whenever you need it. Okay, that's so, nice. So, there's something I need to ask you. I don't think I ever told you what happened to the Minutemen. How I ended up as the last one. What do you mean, you're the last Minuteman? Are you really the last Minuteman? Maybe not literally. There must be a lot of former Minutemen out there who gave it up in disgust after the Quincy Massacre. But we were the last active group of Minutemen. And now, well, it's just me. What was the Quincy Massacre? What was the Quincy Massacre? I thought everyone in the Commonwealth knew about that by now. I was with Colonel Hollis's group. A mercenary group called the Gunners was attacking Quincy. The people there called for the Minutemen to help. We were the only ones that came. The other groups, they just turned their backs on us and the folks in Quincy. Only a few of us got out alive. Colonel Hollis was dead, so I ended up in charge of the survivors. We never found a safe place to settle. One disaster after another. You saw how it ended and conquered? Well, you shouldn't give up. As long as you don't give up, the Minutemen will survive. I'm not about to give up, but I can't protect the Commonwealth all by myself. Hell, I could barely protect these people. That's why I'm talking to you. I can't rebuild the Minutemen, but I think you can. Well, what about you? Why can't you lead the Minutemen? That's not who I am. I can get my men through a firefight. I can defend a perimeter against all odds, but that's not going to be enough to bring the Minutemen back from the brink. We need someone who can bring the whole Commonwealth together in a common cause. And I think you've got it in you to be that leader. Well, why me? Why not somebody else? What makes you think I can do this? You saved us and conquered. There wasn't anything in it for you. You had your own problems to deal with, but you did it anyway. That kind of selflessness has been in mighty short supply around here for quite a while. Alright, well, fine. If you're gonna try to pawn it off on me, I'll take it. Okay. I'll do it. Good. Good. Welcome aboard. I feel like this is a whole new star for the Minutemen. And the Commonwealth, too. Don't worry. I'll be right beside you all the way. 
general. General? That's quite a promotion. <laughs> That's quite a promotion you just gave me. The leader of the Minutemen has always held the rank of general. Our last leader was General Becker. After he died back in 82, nobody could agree on who should take his place. The one good thing about being the last Minuteman is there's no one to argue with me when I say you're the new general. Now it's <laughs> your job to make it more than an empty title. I've got something a bit different for you. Our scouts have found a promising spot for a new settlement. The trouble is that some kind of vicious beasts are lairing there. Once you clear it out, set up a radio beacon to let settlers know about it. Before you know it, we'll have a thriving new farm instead of wasteland. We'll take back the Commonwealth, one piece at a time. All right. Well, that's going to be all for me today. Um, I might go Fortified Ten Pines Bluff up a little bit. But other than that, um, that's going to be it for me. So if you like the video, make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe if you want more Fallout videos. Thanks so much for watching. All right, have yourself a good day.